In this tutorial I will show you how we can use a, a geometrical target to update uh, the mesh. In this case we have already the mesh of this part and we want to reshape the right part using mesh morphing. To do that we have uh, uh, the part that is that has been meshed, we have the target part that is now in um, suppressed status but can be uh, turned to be visible and so uh, with uh, um, given transparency it's uh, used to set up uh, the morphing. Uh, first of all we have to define what is the morphing target, we insert RBF morph, we use optimization using OpenMP and 8 chords so that we use all the uh, resources. Uh, we select the target that is uh, the solid mesh of the left part and we want to control uh, this target using uh, surfaces that have to be linked to the target one. So the first surface we want to control is the inner one. We add asserts to control this surface. Uh, but to control this one, we notice that the target geometry, uh, I show you, is indeed comprised of three surfaces. So to manage this, we add a virtual topology and we use uh, the virtual topology tool to insert a face, so a virtual cell on one side, and we do the same on the other side. So we are going to select the three faces here, one, two, and three, and we add another virtual topology. There we go. So now we can connect our setup. So to do that, we turn again visible the wall assembly. So here we have connected this face and the target one, we use surface projection, will be the face onto the inner side. So we switch off this again to see the face to be connected and we can select it. Uh, we can do the same uh, on the other side, so we turn this visible again and we can select the outer face, that is this one, we add a target like this and we are going to control this with the external face, so even in this case we use surface projection, we set this and we are there. So we can preview the effect of such morphing action on one face and onto the other face and then we can try to do our first morphing onto this geometry. Now the software has computed the uh, morphing field that has been applied to the mesh. The result is already quite good but if we have a look closer here for instance we can see that the final mesh is not exactly matching the surface. To have this matching we have to uh, using as projection is not enough and we want to use also the connection of the curves. To complete the application we have now uh, an improved setup already prepared in which you can see we have added the name to the target and to the inner and the outer surface and we have furthermore added the second option to each surface. We told the software first that we want that the projection have to add on the deformed result and then we compute this deformed result using a second level RBF. That is we connect each edge, the original to the target one by one one, two, and three, and we constrain the fixed one. And then we use this RBF field to generate a movement that will put all the nodes close to the surfaces. Then we apply the projection. We do the same on the outer surface, as you can notice here. You have edge one, two, three, and four, 
and the overall field is this one it's worth to notice that uh, we have used here the invert function because if we have a look to the edge so let's look this a little bit closer we can notice turning on the direction of the curve that all the pair of cards are matching the direction with the exception of this pair this one i show you in detail there we go so once we have this setup in place you can have that the morphing action i show you the result we bring the mesh exactly in the desired final position if we zoom a little bit closer let's turn off this one you can see how the mesh now is perfectly matching the desired target geometry in all the area with the total level of detail that we need for this kind of application and this is conclude the tutorial let's go back in the morphing to see how we can compare the final geometry and the target one many thanks for your attention